in so many of the hospitals uh, here in Kentucky and across several states already, of course, taking in the tornado victims over the last couple of days. They are also struggling with the COVID surge in this part of the country. Tonight, a grim new toll in this pandemic. More than 50 million confirmed cases in the U.S. since this all started. We are now approaching 800,000 lives lost. New York State's indoor mask mandate now taking effect today. California will reimpose its mask mandate on Wednesday. And from overseas tonight, the U.K. now reporting its first known death from the fast-moving Omicron variant. The prime minister there has warned of a, quote, tidal wave coming. Omicron doubling there every two to three days. Here's ABC's Stephanie Ramos tonight. Fighting back against an alarming spike in COVID cases, New York State now mandating masks inside any business that does not require proof of a vaccine. This is a pandemic. People are sick. You know, this thing keeps mutating. You can wear a mask. It's not a big deal. I just can't wait for this to end. I mean, I just I can't wait till I could take this off. And California today following suit, reinstituting its indoor mask mandate for the next month. It comes as the Delta variant is driving a COVID surge nationwide and the country closing in on yet another horrific milestone. Almost 800,000 lives lost to COVID. With the Omicron variant now in 30 states plus D.C., health experts insist a booster shot restores high antibody levels and is the best weapon to fight against it. Early studies suggest just two doses of the Pfizer vaccine take a hit from Omicron, but still protect from severe disease. It appears to be able to evade some of the immune protection of things like monoclonal antibodies, convalescent plasma, and the antibodies that are induced by vaccines. That's the sobering news. Tonight, the first reported death from Omicron in the UK, where cases are doubling every two to three days. The new variant is expected to become dominant within the next two days. In London today, long lines as the government ramps up efforts to boost all eligible people by the end of the year. No one should be in any doubt. There is a tidal wave of Omicron coming. And back in this country, the Air Force has discharged 27 service members for refusing to take the COVID vaccine and did not seek a religious exemption. One official telling us we will likely see additional discharges as the process continues, David. All right, Stephanie Ramos tonight. Stephanie, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.